Hey everybody, this is the reel I've been using to sturgeon fish. It is an Okuma Cold Water 453D. Uh, gear ratio is 4.2 to 1. I'm running roughly 310 yards, give or take, a 40 pound test line on it. It's a really good casting reel. Um, what I really like about it is the uh, level line I can keep up with the line coming off of the spool. I have had reels in the past to where they uh, they just they couldn't keep up when casting. And it's got a really loud clicker to it. It's got a built-in line counter, and I really like the line counter, especially when it tells me I've been casting 123 yards. Um, I mean, I'm not setting any distance records with it, and I'm not breaking my old record with it, but that was a totally different reel and way different pole. So, but I will, I will take 123 to, you know, whatever, you know, 100 yards plus. I'll take that. Uh, I think this reel was like $130. Uh, the Star Drag is aluminum. Their handle here is all aluminum. This other part of the handle is uh, plastic with a rubber coating. And I like how big and beefy this is. It makes it really easy to grab onto. What I don't like about it, and it could just be my reel... But sometimes the uh, free spool will get stuck like right there. And you can you can see like I'm moving the spool with my finger. Uh, sometimes it won't do that. It won't do it at all. It'll just be like, like I didn't even uh, put it on free spool. And then I have to reel it forward. And, and once I reel it forward a little bit, it'll loosen up. Uh... The other thing I don't like about it is when I turn down my drag, sometimes it'll get, it won't come out easy and I have to reel it forward and then it'll see, now it comes out easier. And that could just be my reel, but I mean for 130 some odd dollars, I mean, that's, this is a good reel. It's a good casting reel. I like how open it is, the access to the spool. So if you're in the market, definitely take a look at the Okuma 40, 45, 453D cold water. Definitely look at that reel. I mean, for the price, you really can't beat it. Uh, mine is set up to cast six and eight ounce sinkers. Uh, I don't recall what I hit the 123 mark with. I don't remember if it was a 6 ounce or if it was an 8 ounce. I want to say it was an 8, but I could be wrong. I have no idea. I don't remember. But definitely give this reel a shot. Or if you're on the fence about buying it, it is definitely worth buying. Have a good one, everybody.